As you leave the ship, there is a guest information centre where you can get a map. Then you can stroll around the bay into town. Or you could stay and swim in the designated swimming area. As with all the resorts on the Turkish Riviera, there is a pirate theme. These boats are great fun. Some even have a foam disco on board. Now you might not think you will enjoy a foam disco, but you will after a few rum punches. Originally known as Halakarnassus and with a long history of pirating, Bodrum used to be known for its sponge divers. It is still an active fishing village. As the fishermen of Halakarnassus said, today you are in a seashore town where you may leave your heart and mind behind. The famous writer and Bodrum lover, the fisherman of Halakarnassus, who's known as the founder of Blue Cruises, once said, when you reach the hill, you will see Bodrum. Don't think you'll leave as you came. Others before you thought the same as they departed and they left their heart and soul behind in Bodrum. The shopping in Bodrum may surprise you with its quirkiness. You are left to wander at your leisure without being dragged into the shops. There are tempting treats, a Beatles cafe, and you'll get to see your fair share of ruins. Bodrum has its own style of boat design and is famous for sailing holidays on the Turkish boats called gulets. Further along the coast are a series of busts of outstanding achieving women in history. Now they do have scooters and it might be a good idea if you're in search of the ruins, follow me. We'll come to a mosque and we'll take the road at the side of the mosque. We're going up from the mosque towards the mausoleum. We're going to turn left at the top of the road. There's the sign, look. We walked all around the bay and then up to the mausoleum and this is our route. Entry to the mausoleum is very reasonable. It's open between nine and five. This is an idea of what it looked like with a horse and carriage on the top. On the wall are other visions of how it might have been and they're still putting it together and finding pieces. This mosaic is from elsewhere in Turkey and not from the mausoleum. The mausoleum is one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. It was built in memory of King Mausolus as a tomb by his wife and his sister, Artemisia. Now, wishing I'd hired that scooter, we'll go in search of the amphitheater. After visiting the mausoleum, turn left and you will see over on the right side a mosque. Just go up by the mosque. The road will lead you to the Bodrum Ancient Theatre. At the top of the road, turn left. If you look down, there are amazing views of the town. And over the road is the amphitheatre. Entrance is free. You've been watching Doris Visits. I've been Jean Hurd. Thank you very much. Oh, don't go though, we've got the castle to visit. This is the entrance to the theatre and the dressing rooms must have been in a lower tunnel.
The theatre dates back to the 4th century and has been renovated twice. Now we're off to the castle. There are no guides, only a security officer. If you want the brochure, there's a QR code to download. Back along the front of the castle, it is quite a long walk. Turkey is full of art everywhere you look. We left our visit to later in the day, as the queues at the beginning of the day were really very long. There's a lot to see in the castle. This is an interesting visit, with many artefacts on display. There is an explanation of a famous shipwreck and a reconstruction of the ship using elements they have found in the sea. Bodrum was one of my favourite ports. Join us on Doris Visits for other resorts on the Turkish Riviera.